proved following cos a minus b is equal to cos a times cos b plus sine a sine b in order to answer this we're going to need our knowledge of the unit circle uh, just do a little bit of revision on our unit circle it's a circle with a radius of one and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to draw a radius line coming from the center out to the edge of the circle i'm going to label that point let's label it um p for point and the angle that's created i'm going to label as a now that coordinate p we can call it x y but a little bit more advanced for trigonometry we are going to call it the point cos a sine a i'm now going to label a second point on that circle and i'm going to label it let's call it q and i'm going to draw a line coming from the center out to q and i'm going to create an angle here now a smaller angle than a and i'm going to label it the angle b and the point Q, I'm going to call cos B sine B. But what I'm going to focus in on is this angle here, the angle that's created between the point P and Q, this angle in here. Now, the size of that angle is going to be the larger angle A subtracting away the smaller angle B. So that angle in between P and Q is going to be called A minus B. Now, what we can also do is I'm going to draw a line from P to Q, a straight line from P to Q. And I'm going to use that now in answering my question. And what I'm going to do for my proof is I'm going to do two things. I'm going to use my distance formula to get the distance from P to Q, that straight gray line that I've drawn there on my diagram. And secondly, I'm going to use my cosine rule to get that length of the uh, gray line PQ. And when I get both of those answers, because they're the same thing, they're getting the distance from P to Q, I'm gonna let my two answers equal to each other. So that's the aim of the game here. So, so my first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna use my distance formula. And my distance formula from my log tables is equal to distance square root of X2 minus X1, all to be squared, plus Y2 minus Y1, all to be squared writing down my two points the two coordinates p and q are cos a sine a cos b and sine b and i'm going to label those two points x1 y1 x2 y2 and i'm going to now just sub them into my formula for distance now i'm getting the distance between uh, p and q so i'm going to go pq is equal to x2 x2 is cos b just be very careful filling it in uh, minus x1 which is cos a and that's all to be squared plus my y2 which is sine b minus my y1 which is sine a all to be squared now that's all within our square root so the distance from p to q is equal to now i'm going to just work on this part first of all and that's going to give me first term by the second bracket. So it's a square, which means it's by itself. So it's cos b multiplied by cos b minus cos a. And then second term, which is minus cos a multiplied by cos b minus cos a. And my second part then to that question, just let's get rid of that highlighter now. We're done with it. Is going to be uh in the blue highlighter i'm now going to multiply out this part of the bracket so what's that giving me that's giving me a uh, positive sine b times sine b minus sine a minus sine a times sine b minus sine a and don't forget that is all within our square root i'm now going to multiply out those brackets and that's giving me so the first one here i'm going to do is cos b multiplied by cos b that's giving me uh cos b squared so i put the squared on the cos cos b multiplied by minus cos a is minus cos a cos b so i'm just writing it alphabetically i'm now on to the second one which is minus cos a by cos b which is minus cos a cos b and minus cos a by minus cos a is positive cos a squared I'm now going with the sine b multiplied by sine b. That's giving me positive two 
sorry, no, that's giving me positive sine b squared. Uh, sine b all to be squared. And then sine b multiplied by minus sine a is minus sine a sine b. Final bracket. Minus sine a by sine b is giving me minus sine a sine b. And then minus sine a by minus sine a is positive sine a squared. Don't forget, that is all again within our square root. So we can't forget the square root. So pq. What's that equal to now if we tidy it up a little bit? So it's equal to, what can I kind of put together? So I'm going to put, uh, do, 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 do. I have a cos squared a and have a sine squared a. I do here at the end. So I'm going to put them together. So let's put them to the front. Cos squared a plus sine squared a. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pair up, have a cos squared b and a sine squared b. I do. So I'm going to put them together. So that's plus uh, cos squared b plus sine squared b then i'm going to put these two together actually look at them here um minus cos a cos b minus cos a cos b so that's two of them so that's minus uh two cos a cos b and then the final two terms minus sine a sine b minus sine a sine b gives me two of them as well minus two sine a sine b again don't forget that is in the square root okay a little bit of tidying up from page 13 in my log tables i now know that cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to one so that's what i'm focusing in on here now so pq is equal to uh, the square root of one I also know that cos squared b plus sine squared b is also 1. It's just a different angle. So plus 1. And what I'm going to do with the final part here, minus 2, I'm going to factorize out that minus 2 because it's common to both of those. So if I factorize out the minus 2, I get minus 2 times cos a cos b plus uh, sine a sine b. So I factored out the minus 2 and that's why that... Uh, sine in the middle has changed to a plus. 1 plus 1 is 2 times, or sorry, subtract 2 times cos a cos b uh, plus sine a sine b. Okay, so we've tidied it up quite a lot there. Again, don't forget that is within your square root. Let me just get rid of that bracket. And I'm going to put in my square root. So that's the distance from p to q. Now I think to myself, how do I eliminate a square root or how do I get rid of a square root? To get rid of a square root, we square both sides. So I'm just going to square the right hand side and then I'm going to square the left hand side. So when I square PQ, I get PQ squared equals 2 minus 2 times cos A cos B plus sine A sine B. And that's as far as I can go with my distance formula. I'm now going to come down and do something similar uh, with step two, which is our cosine rule. So I'm now going to use our cosine rule to get the distance from P to Q. So my cosine rule from my log tables, so cosine rule from my log tables is given as A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. Now the distance A if I scroll back up to my picture, let's fill in my cosine rule from the picture. A is going to be the distance from P to Q. That's that region over here. The angle is the angle that we're trying to find, which is A minus B. And the B and the C are going to be the lengths of the radius, which is one and one. Because remember that this is the unit circle, which has radii of one. So that's what I'm going to fill in now to my cosine rule formula. So. Like I said, our A is going to be PQ squared equals B, which is a radius of 1, plus C, a radius of 1, minus 2 times B times C, which is 1 times 1, cos my angle, and my angle is going to be my A minus B. Solving that, I get PQ to be squared is equal to 1 squared is 1, 1 squared is 1, minus 2 times 1 times 1 is 2, times cos 
a minus b. And 1 plus 1 is 2. Minus 2 times cos of the angle a minus b. That's as much as I can do. Now what I'm going to do is, because if we just look at it here, pq is equal to, pq is equal to, that means they are both equal to each other. So therefore, since pq squared is equal to pq squared, I can write that as 2 minus 2 times cos a cos b plus sine a sine b is equal to 2 minus 2 times cos angle a minus b. So I'm letting both of those equal to each other. You'll see that there's a 2 on both sides, so they can cancel out. If I move one of them to the other side, it'll be 2 minus 2, so they're cancelling. So that's leaving me then with um, minus 2 times cos a uh, cos b plus sine a sine b is equal to minus 2 times cos of the angle a minus b. I'm going to now divide both sides by minus 2. So divide both sides by minus 2. And minus 2 divided into minus 2 is 1. So they'll cancel out and they'll cancel out. So that's leaving me now with um, cos a times cos b plus sine a sine b is equal to cos a minus b. And that is what they wanted us to prove at the top of the question. So that's the same if we just change the order as cos of a minus b is equal to cos a times cos b plus sine a sine b. And that's what they wanted us to do. If this video was helpful, I'd really appreciate if you'd subscribe to my YouTube